Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about the conditional compilation macros in C++. So all of you have learned about the if and else in C++. You know, if some condition is true, then we were executing some statements. You know, if this condition fails, you know, else block, then we were executing some other statements. And similarly, we had if then, you know, else if and, you know, like that. So here, you know, by using this if and else, we are executing some statements, you know, depending on some condition, you know, if that condition is true, we are executing something else, we are executing something else. So similar to that in C++, we have the conditional compilation macros, you know, which allow us to compile certain parts of the code depending on some conditions, you know, that we were only executing here, we are compiling. So here, uh, in this tutorial, just for the demonstration purpose, what we can do is we can define some macros. Let's say hash define windows, and let's set this one to one, and we're gonna define um, Linux and two, and we're gonna define Mac and three, and then we're gonna define another identifier of the macro. And it's gonna be hash divine and it's gonna be OS. So let's say our OS is Mac. So now you know depending on our OS, we're gonna make our program to compile certain parts of the code. So here for that we're gonna use the conditional compilation macros. We have the hash if and then hash and if you know if and if and then hash lf or else if and we have hash else you know conditional macros available so here we're gonna use them in our program so first we're gonna use hash if if os is equal to let's a windows we want to compile the statements between this and if so uh, if conditional compilation block starts from this if to and if so whatever we write between this if and end if will be compiled if you know this os identifier contains contains value windows so here you know here for the demonstration purpose we're just going to use a c out and we're going to say you are using windows and then you know whatever we write after this conditional compilation block will be executed normally for example i'm going to use c out and i'm just going to say ha 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 you know whatever it is and then uh, you know just add the end line here just to make it pretty and i'm just going to build and run this and we're going to get ha 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 and you know this um you are using windows is not even compiled that's because you know our os identifier is containing mac you know not windows so if i change this one to windows and if i build and run this you know it executes you are using windows ha 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 all right here you know you know if this condition satisfies then statements inside this block will be compiled you know not executed it's compiled and uh, you know else you know else you know these statements will not be compiled at all so now if your os is windows we want to compile these statements else we want to compile some other statements for example here we're just going to use else you know similar to if else else we're just going to say non windows user and let's and just end this line and now if i build an and here I'm just gonna change this one to Mac and I'm gonna build and run this and it says non Windows user you know that's because you know this OS is not containing Windows and that's why you know the statements in this else is compiled and you know and because of that you know it is executed alright now we have L if so if OS is Windows we want to execute these much statements and or you know the statements for windows are going to be written here else if our os is mac you know we're going to write the statement for the mac to do that we're going to use l if if something is true we're going to compile this much statements else if the os equal to mac 
you know compile the statements for the Mac and here I'm gonna end this and if I build and run this no ha 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 alright you know that's because this voice should be written in caps now I made a small mistake there and if I build and run this and it says Mac user ha 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 alright and if you want to add any else block here we can add that so it's gonna be else we're gonna say Linux user and uh, just gonna end this line all right I'm gonna build and run this now it, it says Mac user and if I change this one to Mac I mean Linux and it says Linux user so you know this is about the conditional compilation macros so the next thing is you know what is the use of it you know you can write a program and you can specifically write the code for each operating system within this windows block you can write the code for windows within this mac you can write the code for mac and uh, you know here you guys can write the code for the linux operating systems so you know this conditional compilation macros allows us to compile certain parts of the code you know depending on some conditions so here you know we have used only you know equal to operator you know if you want uh, you guys can use the operators like, such as you know greater than or equal to less than or equal to something like that but here you know it was appropriate to use this equal to you know we are checking whether this voice equal to windows or not you know something like that in some other cases we're gonna use the less than equal to greater than equal to and all other operators so this is it guys this is about the conditional compilation macros in C++. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.